Chapter 14, False Friends. Are you certain? Fraser is here. Yes, Father. We've just received word from our lookouts. He's still beyond that hill, but he'll be here before long. Lord Effendel, what is the meaning of this? Perhaps they have reached Tantaru's castle. Lord Hellman was still clinging to life. You can't be serious. He could have couldn't have lasted too long, but maybe he told them something. That's terrible. A plan. It's all for naught, isn't it? No need to be so alarmed, my lord. Even if he told young Illowood something about our schemes, Foray no longer has any power. All Illowood could do is perhaps maybe inform Marquis Ostia. Ostia? That would be ruinous. Lord Uther may be young and new to the throne, but he's dangerous. That abdominable Hellman, he was a coward to the end. To betray us now, and we're so close. We need only a little more time to complete our plans for rebellion. And before Marquis Ostia becomes aware of any of this, you would do well to stop them here. Yes, you're right, of course. We do have a chance. They have to pass through Lost to get to Ostia. We can still silence them. They must not pass. No matter what the cost. Then let us make haste. Call up our finest troops. Father, please, let me take command. Eric, Tommy, son, can you succeed? That Claude Ellerwood and I study together in Ostia. He's a trusting fool. If he sees me, he'll lower his guard. And when he does, we strike. I see. I beg your pardon. Is it not too much for him? If by strange chance he fell, things could turn for the worse. No, I know the lad's father. But Eric's quite clever, I tell you. Snuffing Gray's well will be no trouble at all. It's settled. It's up to you now, Eric. Bring me the head of Hurray's darling son. Yes, father. I will not fail you. Look around. They truly are preparing for battle. Bastards. Marcus Laos, what is he scheming? Uh, you don't look like much like you want to go into the castle. If we want to go and learn the truth, we may have to go to war. That's fine with me. I have no love for war. If I concentrate on the foe before me, I'm fine. But if I picture families, innocent, caught up in our foolish politics, if I imagine them, all I can do is pray for a way to solve things peacefully. Ellerwood. Lord Ellerwood. A knight has ridden forth from the castle. A lone knight? Yes, my lord. Our scouts say it's Marquis Laus's son, Eric. He is asking to see you. Eric? Gah. Why did it have to be that buffoon? I will see him. Bring him here. I'm leaving. I never could abide him. I'll go for a ride and survey the surroundings. Good day, Lord Hector. Is Lord Elwood with you? Nah, he's tre treating with Marquis' son, Lars. Eric. It is wise for you to be away at this time. Eric's a can come tempest peacock. He's intolerable. And he made a show of riding from the castle alone. Something feels odd. That is unusual. I've been thinking, my lord. Lars is blessed with a clear water and fertile ground. See that shade its tall trees and grass cast? Ideal for hiding soldiers, don't you think? You're right, Oswin. I'm going to take a look around. Very good. Let's put up and double our ground. One more thing, my lord. What is it? Do not let yourself be distracted. Keep your guard up. <laughs> yes, mother. I will. Eric? What is it you're trying to find out? Pardon? Everywhere I look, Klaus prepares for battle. What are you and your father planning? I will find the truth. I will know it. Heh, <laughs> I'd hope to wait until you told me of Ostia. Of whether you've spoken with the Marquis or not. What are you talking about? Heh, heh, heh. I have always despised you. Now I've longed to smash you and your pathetic morality into pieces. I've dreamed of this day, and here it is at last. Too bad you'll not live to see the end of it. Hector? Yeah, yeah. 
You had to. I, I couldn't have spoken to you with us you already. Maybe we have, maybe we haven't. Elwood, this Mongol has troops lying in ambush all around us. Lost regulars, every one of them. We're in for a rough time. <laughs> There's little point in fighting. You're trapped. My forces will overwhelm you, an unending torrent of soldiers. Thousands of elite knights are on the ready as well. <laughs> How long do you think you can survive? Craven Kerr. Uh oh. Ah! Uh oh. Mm, Lord Hellywood, Lord Hector, I make my living as a humble merchant. If you have any items you mm, no longer need, perhaps let poor Merlinus take them. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I'm not doing that great at all. Ah. Yeah, only a single star. I wish I were doing better. Well, it's certainly not optimal, but I am using all these units with all this equipment. I really need more, but I can't complain. At least with this formation, I'll be able to axe head all these spearmen. So all my horsemen down south, and all my footmen up north. This just might work. If not, we'll die. Lord Hector, shall I join you? If, if I deploy my tent, I can help with the equipment. I can switch items for you and hold them in more packs if you're ill. However, my tent cannot mm, be moved about. So if you deploy it, it will require a guard. I beg your understanding. Merlin's Smirch's tent can be deployed on this map. If you deploy the tent, any items you cannot carry can be sent to the tent. However, the tent is vulnerable to enemy attack. If the tent loses all its HP, it will vanish from the map and remain unavailable until the next map. Merlin's tents gain one level for every battle it survives. The tent will be harder to destroy as it increases in level. Deploy Merlinus? I don't see any reason why not. Uh-oh. I think we've been surrounded. Oh, but I'm not worried a bit. I'm with you after all, Bolt. Oh no. We will make quite a team. Right, come on, Bolt. Let's get started. Ah, uh, that's very frightening. <sighs> we certainly could stand some assistance. I'm sorry, but it's just not possible. If we disobey Marquis' laws, who knows what might happen to us. I understand. We'll seek our aid elsewhere. You'll find the same answer everywhere you go. Eventually you will have to do as the Marquis orders. You will do well to tell your employer the same thing. Yeah. Good day to you. Wait, is that who I think it is? Is that... It's Urk! Yeah! No, I'm gonna have to have somebody talk to him. But who? I hope I don't have to use Sarah. Uh, that wouldn't be any good at all. Oh, first things first. Gotta kill this guy. He's in my way. Rah! What? Not enough? Have some more! Very well done, Hector. Hmm. Now what? Uh, I suppose I can send my units down here. Make sure we equip that lance. Yeah, where can these swordsmen go? That these archers cannot. Here! Here is where you will move. Very well. Just continue moving a little bit. Oh, Wood, you're gonna have to guard the tent. Listen to this! Have you heard of Marquis' information in infatuation? There's a young woman staying in the village on the harbor. Her speech, her looks, everything about her has a seeming of a princess. The Marquise's attention borders on obsession. He sent countless envoys to invite her to the castle, but she rejects him at every turn. Now the Marquise has guards even in the village keeping her trapped. She has no way to escape. It's so sad. Huh. Princess, eh? Looks like I'll have to go and save her. 